guys, I hope you're having a really great day today. So I thought that I would share with you my vlog of free comic book day. I am just now leaving. I don't know how long I'm gonna stay because of how dreary that it is outside. But yeah, let's go ahead and go into free comic book day. And here it is. I'm currently at the flea market, but I'm getting ready to leave here so I can go to the shop that they're hosting it at. So hopefully it won't rain too hard before I get there. I got to Mount Empire Comics when I got inside it was really busy and I did not feel comfortable completely filming in the store but there were so many people close by and also I didn't have the permission of the owner so the only thing that I filmed was the comics and for free comic book day we were able to choose three out of the sales and for me you get to see which ones that I chose and then um, when you go over to where um, Miss Isep was having her stand, it was super busy and I didn't want to make her uncomfortable by having her like come completely around to take a picture. And so I just went ahead, went to her booth and got the books and the items that I wanted. And she was so gracious. She signed them for me. So um, that's why I don't have any pictures or anything of like the meeting and greeting with her because I just, there wasn't any space for that to happen. But so Still, I had a really great time and I enjoyed meeting Missy Sepp once more. So when I got there, um, there wasn't that many vendors because of how the weather was doing. Generally, there are more. There's a lot more um, anime stands and comic book stands that sell artwork. They just weren't there because obviously you don't want the work, artwork to get wet. But um, there in the picture, right in the bottom uh, left-hand corner is the face painting station. And then across is um, a really awesome shop. It is called um, Creamy Crypt. And they were the ones where I got the flower crowns that I'm about to show you and a cute box. And then um, on the other side of them is another shop that just had like those bracelets from like Pretty Little Liars, the beaded bracelets. And then um, directly across from them, they had another station that was selling like um, handmade uh, crossword puzzles and things of that nature. And then diagonally across from the storefront that you can't see, which is hosting free comic book day, um, was a little stand that was selling used anime um, light novels and uh, DVDs. So those were the few shops that were coming out. So this is the cute little box that I got from Creamy Crypt. It has their logo on the bottom. It's really nice, really nicely built. I'm going to need to open it up. And then, ah, fingers work one-handed. They have this cute little box. You can put little drinks and stuff in. I've decided what I'm going to put in it, but it's super, super cute. to conclude my vlog portion of this. I'm going to go straight into the part about my haul from the yard selling portion. But yeah, this is what I got from Free Comic Book Day. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hey guys! So I just wanted to go ahead and get into the portion where I share with you the books that I got in the yard sale, church sale that I went to, and then the flea market. <laughs> And then obviously what I got at Free Comic Book Day, as well as the comic books. And so let's go ahead and get into the books.
So the first book that I have for you guys is Dead in the Water by Denise Swanson. And this is what the cover of the book looks like. It's very cute. It is a cozy book. Um, it is about a um, female lead named Skye and her husband. They team up together to find out a murder after uh, a man ends up dead after a tornado devastates their town of Scramble River. So this is very cool. I had actually wanted to read this and did not realize it because I checked Amazon because the title sounded so familiar. So I checked Amazon and this is actually on my wish list. So yay, I have it now. <laughs> the next book that I have, I believe, is in a series because the front of it, sorry, that was my cat, because the front of it says uh, a book by the Bay Mystery um, and it's called Killer Characters. And this is what the cover of the book looks like. Um, it is by um, Ellery Adams. And it is about restaurant owner and aspiring novelist Oliva, Oliva, <laughs> Olivia <laughs> uh, Limages. And she has just recently gotten married. And she learns that most of her marriage is fictional. And she is trying to find out... Uh, how the story goes before sh it ends up in a tragedy. So I really think this is going to be cool. And I just loved the title of it. That's a tribute to it, which is Killer Characters. <laughs> and then um, there's this whole, I guess, I don't know if it's the entire series. I did not Google or anything like that. But it's this right here, the series. Um, there is six books here. It is the... Um, a do-it-yourself mysteries series by uh, Jeannie Bentley. What drew me to this was the fact that it has a mackerel tabby cat on the front. And that's what my beautiful kitty cat Rumi is. So I was thinking, hey, this could be really cool. And since they're cozy mysteries, seems right up my alley. So to flip to the comics that I had chosen from the Free Comics Books Day, um, the first comic is this comic right here. Uh, it is called Malika Creed and Fury and it is from the Malika Warrior Queen series. She is an African uh, warrior queen and she is a defender and it looks like she is pairing up with somebody to defend and I'm like I'm all about that because I do love Malika the Warrior Queen. The next one is Lady uh, Mechanica, and it looks like this. Now, this particular entry is that uh, where she is, the tabloids have dubbed her as Lady Mechanica, and the sole survivor of a mad scientist's horrific experiments which left her with mechanical limbs. And she has no memory of her captivity or her formal life, and she's built a new life for herself as a per. per That's the new ice maker. <laughs> <laughs> as a uh, private investigator and this is set in a fictionalized steampunk turn of the century England or magic and superstition clash with new scientific adventures so she is going on a new adventure <clears throat> and then I have Zero's Journey the Tim Burton's Night Before Christmas because I want something cute and light to read while I'm at work so this is really cute I didn't even look inside so I just know it. so all I know is it's Zero's uh, journey. So these are going to be really fun to read. I'm going to take these to work with me tomorrow. I will follow up with you and let you know how these three guys, or girls in this case except for Zero, uh, went. So yeah, these are the comics that I chose. So the last books that I have for you guys is actually from Jennifer Esep's booth and the first book that I have is Karma Girl. This is the new cover. Uh, this is the old one and I just wanted to update it because all of my other uh, books in this big time series uh, is these style of covers so definitely want that it is awesome she did sign the front of this and then she released a new book which is called Spartan Hearts it's another um, mythos uh, school book so I'm really excited to read this I am only uh, lacking the last book in the mythos series so it'd be nice to see how this ties into this particular book so yes and then the last thing that she gave me which she gave me a lot of so when I give my giveaway I'll be sharing with you but she gave me these really cool coloring bookmarks this is from her um, Elemental Assassins series the pork pit is a restaurant that Jen owns in that series and they have both sides that you can color it's super cute I already have this one but then she came out with Spartan 
from Hearts. She came out with this one and it's really cute. And it has the Mythos Academy on the back. So yes, this is what I got from her booth. I'm really happy what I got and I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I hope that you guys had a great weekend. I know that I did. Until next time guys, bye!